Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I have junk in the back of my throat, so I apologize now for clearing my throat multiple times in this video. Um, I have a headache from hell, y'all. <laughs> I have a headache from hell, and I'm literally ready to shower and lay down, and it is only 5.07 p.m. But I am literally spread out between three smaller bags. Um, had plans on moving into this bag over a week ago and it never happened because, you know, some emergency stuff happened with a family member. And then I had some stuff in my clear tote bag from Jazzy's Game. So I need to get my life together and get in one bag. Um, so I'm really going <laughs> to push myself to go ahead and do this video. And I figured I would go ahead and film it for you guys since I didn't have a what's in my bag. Um, you know, that went out last week because, like I said, you know, stuff happened. So, um... Of course, we were doing the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is the last bag that I was in. Again, I was planning to move into this pink tote um, and put this charm on that bag as well, but it didn't happen. We are well into November now, but I'm still gonna show you guys um, the bag. I have done what's in my bag in this bag before. This is the Juicy Couture Speedy Bag that everybody was looking for. I found mine on Macari, had to pay way more than retail for her, but I wanted her just that bad. On the front, I do, do have this cute little um, Heart Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer holder with Gingham Fresh in it. And then I have my beautiful Breast Cancer Awareness Charm that Miss Carmen made for me, Charm by Carmen. She is here on YouTube as well as on um Instagram so if you do not know who she is or do not follow her channel you definitely should and you absolutely should place an order for yourself for one of her charms because they are beautiful um so this is one bag and then the tote that I keep mentioning is this cutie here this is the coach retail chain tote um it does have the tag on the front I can't remember the name of the color right now but I'll look at the uh the tag in a second but this is a um, chain tote. It's a large tote. It's essentially like the same size as the city tote or the, uh, what do you call it? Um, drawing a blank here, y'all. Louis Vuitton Neverfull <laughs> or the MCM Liz in the medium size. It's essentially the same size as that. It's just a smooth leather tote. Um, it's floppy, but it's also kind of structured because it's smooth leather. Sorry about the noise. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and move this now. I like to keep air paper in my bags when I can. Um, you guys have seen this bag before on Miss um, Dazzle Me 77 channel, uh, Miss Shonda. She owned this bag. She loves it, but y'all know she loves her black on black on black, and she loves her neutral bags. Hey, sis. So she was, you know, kicking some bags to the curb. This one was up for sale, and I was like, mm -mm, she ain't up for sale, baby. She sold. Sent her right on over here. She also had the matching wallet to go with it, and I don't know what this style wallet is called, but I know that... The tag is in here so hold on I can tell y'all the color of these <clears throat> it's actually cerise which I remember looking at this last week and I was like wait isn't that the color that coach just released uh recently and y'all don't look at my nails they're a hot mess I quickly am learning that some patterns are just not going to stay well they're going to chip very fast so I bought a top coat nail polish to put on top of them the next time I get ready to do them but for now I'm making do we midweek. Like I said, I got a headache from hell, so I'm ready to lay down. But um, this color is Cerise. This is a um, a Coach. You know what? I'm going to assume this is a Coach retail wallet, but I don't know for sure since I did not purchase it um, directly from there. I bought both these pieces from Shonda. Super happy they're in my collection. Y'all, this is literally a bag that is considered a bag with tag because this is one that I have not carried, even though I bought this from her several months ago y'all like I think it was springtime when I bought this from her it was quite 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 a few months ago and I have not carried it yet I do plan to do a bags with tags video but I'm gonna go ahead and put all the stuff in here today because I'm doing a lazy switch out I don't feel like switching SLGs matching none of that your girlfriend take a shower and lay down so because this juicy couture bag this pink which is the raspberry tart is very close to the cerise and they look good together I'm just gonna switch everything from all the bags into this bag of course i'll do the wallet off camera um so i'll put that to the side but the inside is that ox blood color it does have ooh, if it'll show it does have the back pocket the zipper pocket with the coach creed and then on the inside it's just that dark ox blood burgundy ish color and it's also a smooth leather it does have the um long um what do you call them shoulder straps and then it has a magnetic closure 
right here. And then of course my favorite part is the fact that it is convertible. At any time you don't want to carry it like a tote, you can drop the straps on the inside and then carry it by the cute chain straps, which does have the cute little C on it in that kind of bronze color. So this isn't um, black, it's more like a brown. So I would call it like a bronze color. I don't know the official color, um, but I do have this tote in the gray color that I purchased from, I want to say Macari. Um, and I do have a what's in my bag on my channel in that bag. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. And again, make sure if you're not following Dazzle Me 77 that you do. She does what's in my bags, hauls, planners, lifestyle, just whatever she feel like talking about. She comes on and talks about it. She even does lives and stuff. I love it, y'all. One day I'm going to get enough nerve to do the live, but ain't got there yet. So let me show you what's all spread out. I'll start with this one. This one also has not been um, shown on my channel. This one is, wait, I got the tag in here. Let me see what she called. She is called, ooh. Uh, the Boss Logo Pink Icing is the color and it's double gusset crossbody. This one I want to say I got from Burlington, maybe? Either Burlington or TJ Maxx. Back last summer when we were all grabbing up the Juicy Couture bags. I love this one. I also have it in the Raspberry Tart. This was another bag with tag. I popped the tag to carry it. Um, I just wanted something different. My mom wanted me to go shopping with her um, to help her find some business clothes for work. She travels for work now. and She has to go to meetings and she wanted some travel clothes. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and wear this. Because I wore the Pochette Matisse for a week after moving into the Juicy Raspberry um, Speedy, I wore my Pochette Batiste basically for a week and I was like, I want something small, but I want to do something different. So I grabbed this cutie. My outfit was too cute that day, y'all. Should have took a picture. But anyway, so in here is some of my foolery and then the rest of it is scattered. So I will show you guys everything. In the back pocket, there is nothing right now. I did have my, let me double check because I know I've been just sliding stuff. I did have my phone tucked in there when I was carrying it. The strap um, does have a chain on both sides and the thick got hardware um, zipper right here. I did, you know, zip the bag up when I wore it, but I did not um, like, ugh, I could talk straight. The strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. But I left it on the tightest, tightest setting and just wore it as a cute little shoulder bag. So on me, it pretty much hit me like right at the top of my hip. So it's like in between my armpit and my hip, but it's really more closer to my hip. I like my bags a little bit higher if I'm gonna wear it like that, but this one can't go any shorter and I was totally okay with that. So she was super cute. Um, so yeah, back pocket I have nothing. On the inside, it does have this kind of center piece if you guys haven't seen this bag before. So you have the front compartment here. Excuse me, y'all just ate dinner. Um, you have the front compartment here. It has two slip pockets right here. And then after that centerpiece, you have the second big compartment. Let me get myself centered. And then you have a back zipper pocket, which does have the little um, Juicy Couture logo thing right there. Let me move the screen up. And then, sorry, y'all. Oh, nope, that made it upside down. I'm trying to make it where I can see the viewfinder better. Trying a new angle today to see if I can make things bright but not washed out. So I'll start in that back pocket, that back zipper pocket I just showed you guys. I use that as the lady pouch. So currently in here, I have soap sheets. I have a lady wipe, I have my tiny little sheen spray bottle, and then the tag that I just showed you guys. So I'm trying to keep tags if at all possible, so I'm gonna put that back in that pocket. But I used that back pocket zipped up as I was using it as the lady pocket, but lady pouch. But it was open because like I said, I'm in other bags. So like today I went to my follow-up doctor's appointment and I carried the Bouchette Matisse today. Um, in the big slot, in the, the back half of the bag, I have my Juvia's Place lip liner. I have my uh, NYX Butter Gloss lip gloss and the Strawberry Cheesecake. Move those over, I don't want them to fall off. I have my pen, which I regret it, y'all. I got to the desk to sign in for my damn appointment and realized this pen was in this bag and I did not have a pen in the Pochette Matisse, which I quickly threw things in this morning from the clear tote from Jazzy's game the night before. So yeah, that's. I had to use the pin on the counter. I felt so dirty, y'all. I had to go to the bathroom and wash my hands. I was like, mm -mm, I don't care if it came out of the clean bucket. We got to go wash hands. Um, sorry, y'all. I'm just moving stuff and not saying nothing. So this is the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. I think this one is fussy. Yeah. Um, this is one of those little really thin hand sanitizers from Sheen, or essentially it's an empty bottle that you could put whatever you want, any kind of liquid, to create spray. So if you wanted to put a hair product in here, you could. Um, but I have some Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer spray in there, so that one is great because it's thin. Then I have the cute little Simply Gilded bag. I've shown this in the last couple of, is that clear? I guess it is, you just can't read what the pouch says. 
Not that you need to, but I wanted to be clear. There we go. Uh-oh. I wonder what that is. Anyway, in here I have the cute little YSL mirror that I showed back in the cruise haul video that has the mirror on the back. My battery is bugging out. It already has one bar missing. Hopefully I make it through, you guys. I didn't charge my batteries this week, so hopefully I make it through. This pocket is empty. Um, now we're on to the front. So what's left down there is my shades. Again, all of my stuff is scattered like all over the place. I have a receipt in here. Let's see where this one is from. Mickey D's. We got some McDonald's. Uh, me and mommy did the next day because she ended up having I ain't gonna put nobody's business in the street But we end up having an emergency happen at the end of shopping and then that rolled over into Monday I had to assist her with getting stuff done and it was a whole train wreck Okay, so then in the two slip pockets, I had a sticky note with some details from a phone call we made to get her business handled and then I had a tiny little list of things that I wanted to get while we were in the Timber stores. Y'all know I call them the Timber stores. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington, and Ross. I wanted a smaller frying pan, a weighted blanket, and some more to-go coffee cups. The ones that you can just throw away, the disposable ones. I had ran out of the last, I think, like 14 or 16 count one that I had. So I did end up finding a frying pan and some more to-go coffee cups. And they're so cute, y'all. they Christmas print. Um... But I already put them up in the kitchen, so I can't show it to you guys. But I did not find a weighted blanket, so no worries. Amazon to the rescue. So in that other slip pocket, there's nothing. So this bag is now completely empty. Nothing in there. But yeah, this is a cute little carry. I love this bag. I will say that the zipper is a little fussy um, on this bag. Like a couple of times when I went to, like how you can see now, I'm like struggling to get it started. So I tried not to zip it all the way. Jesus Christ. Um, because in the line right after you check out, I found that to be super, super fussy. So like the next two stores we went to y'all, I literally did my Apple pay with my watch and just tapped and go. So I didn't even have to pull out my card holder because it was really bugging me y'all. It was really bugging me. Like it's bugging me right now. I'm gonna have to get it back started. But if you get the zipper move to about right here and leave it there, then it's usually pretty easy to zip. But when it's all the way back, it's definitely cumbersome and kind of annoying. So that is that bag. So then... The gist of my stuff <laughs> that I've been carrying for the last week in a smaller bag is in this cutie. I moved into her for a birthday party we went to last Saturday um, and she was perfect. I even wore my, ooh, what are they called? Runaway, I think, sneakers from Louis Vuitton, authentic from the boutique. Um, and this is an authentic Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Um, I've had it since, I think, 2019, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, my outfit was too cute that day. Again, should have took a picture, but didn't. But anyway, I moved into her for that party, so I did have my cell phone in the back pocket. I also was wearing these cute earrings that i got off of amazon i want to say julia b if you don't follow her channel here on youtube you should i want to say she sent me this link um in a dm on instagram quite a few months ago when i did order them this was actually my first time wearing them y'all i ordered them right away but i hadn't worn them yet they are very cute they definitely got compliments and attention the problem is they're heavy and my ears do not like heavy earrings so i kicked these babies off as soon as we got in the car for the ride home so those are in here um one of the days this week the coat I chose to wear was that brand new Michael Kors varsity looking jacket that I had hauled. It wasn't $4.95. I want to say, oh Jesus, if I could hold it. I want to say after all the discounts, military discount, the sale they were running, I want to say I paid two something, but I did mention the price and show that jacket in the bestie girl shopping day haul. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. However, that day that I wore the jacket, I grabbed it out of the closet. The tag was still on it and I just popped it off and threw it in the purse. And I was still wearing my anklet that I wear pretty much all the time now. Um, I purchased it while on the cruise and I've been wearing it every day on my right ankle and I love it. But now that it's getting a little cooler outside and I'm wearing more of my high top sneakers and not my low top sneakers or my... Um, sandals and stuff it's kind of getting stuck between my ankle and the shoe and it's pressing and it hurts so i took that bad boy off and i think that's everything in the back pocket all right so into the big part again i'm scattered between multiple purses so some stuff is in here and some stuff is missing i will tell you my keys were in here this morning for my doctor's appointment um but usually when i go pick mally up he doesn't want to ride the bus anymore so now i'm back to as soon as i clock out i go pick him up from school which i understand because his bus comes like an hour and 15 minutes after the bell rings letting them out of school his specific bus driver has to run two routes he's the second route and 
there's only so long that he tolerates wanting to get home that late, being really hungry, having limited time to play after doing his homework. So long story short, he's a car rider in the afternoon. Totally fine with that. We did the same thing last year. But sometimes I put my keys back in my purse after I get Manly and sometimes I will leave them on the counter in the kitchen. So usually when I show you guys what's in my bag, my keys are always in here. I like to keep my keys in my purse so I don't have to wonder where they are. But sometimes I'm starving too with him. And I will come in the house, put them on the counter, get to cooking dinner or get to making plates if it's leftover. So anywho, um, but I want to talk about that. I saw a what's in my bag last night and this girl... I mean, I understand we're all very passionate about what we're saying, but she almost sounded like she was appalled or offended that a lot of us that do what's in my bag videos pull our keys out of our purse. She was like, I feel like when you pull your keys out of your purse, it's a staged what's in my bag. It's not reality. You don't keep them in there. Like the average person, duh, keeps them on the counter, you know, in the kitchen or keeps them near the door, you know, where they belong. Cause you're going out the door with your keys. Who needs their keys in the house or in their purse? And I was like, um, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to calm the fuck down. Like <laughs> really? But anywho, I know we all have different ways that we speak, different personalities we all have our own opinions and I respect her for hers it was just her delivery to me was a little bit aggressive and I was almost offended like so you got a problem with me keeping my keys in my purse okay then but anyway mines aren't in here right now just for that reason it has nothing to do with what she said in her video how she feels they're just not in here because y'all I'm spread the hell out between all kind of bags and I just left them on the counter after we came in today so anyway my airpods y'all y'all know I've been keeping them on the cute little beaded strap bracelet that came from Sheen Tell me why it broke, y'all. Like, literally, I opened my bag, and it's just pearls all in the bottom of this section because somehow that strap broke. I don't even know what happened, but it's okay because y'all know I have tons of straps that I like to use on my AirPods, so I'm just going to attach another one. Um, I forgot to bring one over here for me to move into this coach tote, but it's okay. I will grab it. So those are my AirPods in my little case from Amazon, and my phone is laying on the bed, but the case looks the same as the AirPods. And then I have my lotion, which is the marshmallow pumpkin latte, which smells really good. Great fall scent. My, ooh, I forget what this thing is called. Lancet, essentially, for checking my sugar for diabetes is in my purse because if any of y'all are diabetics and you get your finger pricked at the doctor's office, you know what I'm talking about when your finger be sore for two, three days. Unless you're using the same size needle at the house that they're using at the doctor's office, then you may not really notice the difference because you're used to it. Baby girl, I'm not used to it. And the way my fingers are set up, they be pissed off when they have to get pricked. So I always bring my own. I usually bring my whole little kit that I've showed you guys before and other what's in my bags, a little purple coach um, wristlet pouch that I've had for years that's literally so stained and dirty and won't even come clean, but it's Layla purple, so I'm not getting rid of it. But anyway, I usually take the whole pouch, but because I was taking a small bag today and I was scattered between everything, I just tossed this part in here because this is really all I need. I use their alcohol pad and gauze and her glucometer, but to stick me, no ma'am, don't you dare pull your needle out the drawer i don't know what gauge needle they use at the doctor's office but baby if it ain't 33 gauge from cvs you ain't sticking me absolutely not no ma'am i don't do that sore finger stuff and with the gauge that i use my finger is never sore um i have my chappy sticky <laughs> chapstick i've got my vaseline rosy lips i did pick up some more of those recently from walmart because my stash was like low 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 i have my cute little lace pouch from Sheen. I showed you guys this recently in What's in My Bag. This is my new best friend, especially with Jazzy's games and me running and moving and sticking and moving. It's been wonderful, especially with these family emergencies that have happened in the last 10 days. I've been able to just throw this bag to bag and I know I got what I need. So in here is the ride or die. I cannot leave the house without it. I don't ever want to get caught without a chapstick. I do have a car bag where some of these items are in that bag in the event something happened, but sometimes you're not getting in your own car, especially during an emergency. So you got to have your stuff. Got my brush strip, so that was an extra chapstick I just showed y'all. I have one Laffy Taffy piece of candy just in case. I do have my nail glue in here from the Kiss brand just in case a uh, press on pops off. I have my artificial tears from Walmart, which I use as rewetting drops. I have one Q-tip since I don't have my whole lady pouch um, in here, which today I think I do. Nope, I don't. I have just essentials. Um, and then I have my power bank. So this is the iWalk power bank from Amazon. Love this bad boy. So these are my essentials I keep in this pouch that I can easily throw bag to bag. And I know that I have my goodies with me. And when I'm carrying a larger bag, I just put this inside of the catch-all. So 
those things I know I will have. So next I have my um, monogram key clay or key pouch from Louis Vuitton. This is authentic from the boutique. And oh, oh money's probably up high. And here I just have a little bit of cash and a little bit of coins. So nothing major, just some cash and coins. And I have them in there because I'm using the Juicy Couture Raspberry Tart um, card holder with my main cards in it, my health insurance card. And in here, I tried to put the coins. Y'all, it was murder. I was like, mm -mm, I'm gonna pop off a press on nail dealing with this. So I put them into the card holder and this one does match the bag. Um, so this is the one that I was in when I moved into this bag before I started spreading my life <laughs> between all these other bags as the week and chaos began. So Juicy Couture heart card holder in that same raspberry tart color. So that was my wallet. And then I have my cute little tissue pouch from the Novel Crown. If you don't watch her, you need to. Tissues in the front. Again, she made this by hand. She's not making them yet, but she will let everybody know when she starts. And inside, I do have my cough drops and a piece of candy. And I think it's one, yes, yeah, one Lifesaver mint in there. So I have that. And then in that back slip pocket, I just threw the lady stuff in there. So I have my medium size sheen pouch that holds my panty liners. And I have the ooh, tiny little spray bottle from Sheen that I like to use for the bathroom spray. And then I have a wipe and I just tossed them in there so I didn't have to toss the whole lady pouch in there. So my Pochette Matisse is completely empty, y'all. I love this thing. I have rant and raved about it before, especially in my other videos about how this one is like nostalgia for me from when I was a child and it's shaped like my very first purse. So have that. And then this baby, put this stuff back a little bit. Whew, got stuff everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Okay, I want my shades to get scratched up. All right, so in this cutie, she could not fit. I know I posted on, um, ooh, what's it called? Instagram. <laughs> but she could not fit my MM, MM, Jesus, Layla. Ooh, y'all, I took some Excedrin. I am hoping it kicks in quick because this headache is killing me. Um, my PM agenda. This is the pocket agenda, the PM size, the small ring agenda from Louis Vuitton. This is authentic. Um, I did get mine off the website when I ordered it. And so I wanted to just show you guys real quick because I forgot to pull it last night when I filmed that quick little flip through. I cut the pin loop out of mine because it doesn't hold real pins. This is an all black Villa Beautiful pin. Look at that black on black on black Shonda. Look at that. Look at that. Ain't she pretty? Ain't she pretty? So I have the black pin tucked in there and this is how I had her decorated for Halloween. So I just had some cute little um, paper clips that I own in my stash. These are from Etsy. I'm so sorry. I've had them a minute. I have no idea where the links are. Etsy does not play nice when I try to scroll back years and years of finding links. Um, this just has some sticky notes on in case I need to write some stuff. And I was having an issue with creating the dividers and making the divider tabs on the side this time. So I decided to do them at the top. So I have two divider tabs at the top for this time. I or did I do three? I don't even remember now. Nope, I did three. I've got notes, I've got list, and I've got errands. And these were made the exact same way that I talked about in my, um, what do you call it? Jesus. Personal rings flip through <laughs> that I filmed last night. Um, so same thing, double-sided paper. I just created the dividers and I just wrote, make sure this isn't too... All right, it's not too, too personal. I'm sure some of you guys have some of these same um, things, but I had this little RIP paper that was on one of the paper pads. I chose to write some um, personal things on there that I felt like, you know, I'd want to get rid of. And then I just did the same process. I put everything in the laminate paper and laminated it. Again, the paper is double-sided. This is, yeah, a little shopping list that I still have, like running stuff I wanted to get. And then some more of the paper for the third divider. And again, it is double-sided. So just my little pocket planner there. I do need to change these. Um, and I did make some fall dividers the same day that I made these. So I'll be able to put them in here um, for the short term until I go ahead and sit down and do my Christmas setup, which I am praying I have a great weekend or everything is just smooth. I can sit down and enjoy myself and do it and film it for you guys because I know y'all want to see that. Um, so now onto this baby. So in here is the rest of the stuff, the big stuff that could not fit in those smaller bags. Let me start this timer over. All right, started it over just in case. So um, again, cute charm, cute Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer and inside things are not all pretty and sitting high. I usually have them because the bag is not full and I was just grabbing stuff that I needed to go in the other bags. So in here I have this cute little... Um, Pin sleeve, I don't wanna say Hobby Lobby maybe. I've had this 
one or two years by this point. Um, so I want to say Hobby Lobby, but in here is where I normally keep my sunglasses. But right now it's just the cloth that I can't even get it out because it's all the way at the bottom. But I have one of those little, you know, cleaning cloths that I usually have in my sunglasses case. So that is where my sunglasses need to go back into. Um, I have, I'm trying to get in the frame. I have the Cerise, oh, Jesus. The Cerise uh, corner wristlet from the Coach Outlet. I did pick this up from that Cerise drop. This was the only thing that I got so that I could have a solid hot pink or Barbie pink um, or fuchsia pink, whatever you want to call it, uh, pouch because y'all know I love using this as my lady pouch. It's just the perfect size. So if it fits in the bag, it's going. If it doesn't, then as you saw, I would just take the essentials, excuse me, I would take the essentials out and put it in a smaller bag. So cute little charm on here with some butterflies from Sheen. In here is just what I didn't take out to put into the other bag. So that would be the extra pack of tissues just in case it's needed in the bathroom. The Q-tips and the floss picks. The expandable washcloths from Sheen. And then on the other side, those two credit card slots or slip pockets, I don't have anything in there. I don't, usually don't put anything in there because I don't usually need it. So I'm just going to put those back in there. And then next in here, we have my catch-all pouch. This one I got from Sheen. I'm pretty sure I hauled this one, I think, earlier this year in January um, or February-ish, right after I was sick with COVID. So this one just says, love yourself with the pink lips. It's white with black um, zipper track and hardware. So in here is just all of the usual essentials that I have. So we've got the little holo pouch from the Dollar Tree with extra contacts in it. We have the uh, Ruby Rose lip gloss by Juvia's Place, what's left of it. I have that YSL lipstick that came in that gift box that I got. It's a red color. I've got the Jergens lotion for the family members if they are ashy. I've got a pink cloud in here. I don't have a hot pink one, so I just kept a regular pink one. I have my little, ooh, am I holding it upside down? No, I'm not. My little gold um, pill case from Sheen. This one pops open, and I just have pain meds. In here, it's got a mirror on it in case you needed a mirror. I don't, I've really never used the mirror inside of that, but I love having it should I forget my mirror. Um, travel size mascara. This one is from a um, Ipsy subscription. Then I have this Hello Kitty cream shop glass nail file. I got this in a love box. I got my Shop Miss A cuticle oil that I picked up from the, oh, Jesus, from the store in New Mexico. I have two ponytail holders. I've got my travel YSL perfume that I did get in the gift box. I've got my purple tweezers. And y'all, I'm on the hunt for some more purple tweezers. I want another pair so I can keep them at work. I've got a purple nail clipper here. I've got my travel whiteout. This thing always seems to like turn itself in the bag. And sometimes I find it and it's sticking out like that, which isn't bad. But I just always feel like it's going to tear itself up and be like all stringy and coming out if I don't catch it. But I really wish I could find these in purple, but they don't make them in purple to my knowledge. Um, but this is a travel big whiteout, like the compact size. Should I need to wipe something out in my notebook or my planner? Um, and then a tiny little bottle from Sheen that has some Tatcha moisturizer in it. Should I need to... Uh, re-moisturize my face so then in there in the bottom I have my little clear glitter sheen pouch um, that just um, houses a bunch of things that's like first aid so wipes band-aids antibiotic ointment um, what else is in here those little butterfly strips if it's like an open cut that looks like it needs stitches but it really doesn't those butterfly strips work wonders to bring your skin together then I have this cute little kiss lock pouch I kind of was going for like a pink and black theme when I moved into this bag um, so that's the reason this cutie's in here and y'all know I like this kiss lock for my candy so emergency candy and some salt packets should I need them then I have my clipper, which probably fell out of the pocket when I was pulling stuff out of it um, to move into other bags. But this is a rose gold clipper from Amazon. I love this. It's linked in my storefront if you need it to hold your bag up on a door that does not have a hook or anything for you to be able to hang your bag. This cutie I showed recently, this is from The Gate. This is a, if you know, you know, Chanel small O pouch with that burgundy trim and those beautiful C's on the end right there and that leather pull tab. I'm using this as my rollover wallet, so can't show you the inside. Don't want to accidentally show card numbers, but debit card, credit cards, um, Vicky Secrets card. Let's see here. My health and my kid health insurance card. Um, my SCCA, BJ's card, gift cards. Another gift card, and then, ooh, I hope this didn't expire. I've got a 
$10 off $35 purchase to use from the 20th to the 26th of this month for Bath and Body Works. So I have that in there. So coupons, gift cards, and extra cards that, you know, can't fit in the card holder. Um, again, I could not fit my PM agenda in the purse with all those other goodies in here. When everything was in here and I wasn't in another bag, it would not fit. So I just grabbed this little cutie, which I did receive in a love box. Um, I thought it was pink, so I thought it was, you know, matchy-matchy. It's cute. And I actually didn't have to write anything down, but it's just got um, lined notebook pages, which I love. I love lined and I love dotted line. I hate just clear, solid pages my handwriting sucks it'd be all over the place so i need lines even on my monthly pages that's why i love the ones that i get from amazon because they come with the lines inside of each individual monthly square i'm trying to show you guys over here tucked in the corner was my taser so it was clipped on to that zipper pocket that's in the back of the bag this is amazing it's nice and slim it's in the amazon storefront if you're new here in that back zipper pocket is where i normally have like my chapstick my keys lotion all of that but I'm in a thousand bags. So currently the only thing in there is that hot pink Dollar Tree flashlight. I think that is everything. Yep. And since I bought this one off Macari, I don't think I have the tag or do I? Oh, I lied. I do have it. So here is the tag and I actually wrote what I paid on here. I think this bag was like $30 in the store when it came out or maybe $35. I paid, what does that say? $76. $76 on Macari. This is a DeBoss logo raspberry satchel. It's like the speedy um, for Juicy Couture. In that back, um, nope, sorry, not the back zip pocket. I'm on the other side now, on the front wall, that one big slip pocket. So that's where I just pulled that tag from. And then we have my digital business card holder for my YouTube and Instagram, as well as two cute sister charms. Got one from Bestie and one with my tripod sisters. Oh, there goes the battery, hold on. Okay, I thought the battery might make it the whole time, but it didn't. So I had to change it real quick, you guys. Sorry. I am doing this video impromptu. I did not charge my goodies because a sister ready to lay down. Okay. Um, I probably didn't make it because I'm talking more than <laughs> I thought I might do since my head hurts so bad. But I guess once I get to going, y'all, I just, I be going, don't I? All right. So still in that slip pocket, the next thing is going to be um oh wait i didn't finish talking about what was on here did i okay so on the um digital business card holder we have the two um sister charms my tripod sister charm and then my bestie charm and then i have this purple key that is from sheen that's actually a safety tool it flips out into a knife super cute it will be linked um what is that oh it's back of the white it will be linked down below if you are interested it's also linked in the other what's in my back videos and then i currently have the watermelon flavor y'all i love these so much all of them watermelon strawberry grape but you know what i'm finding out i like the watermelon and grape way more than the strawberry now i don't know maybe my taste buds just be changing especially with me playing games with my diet and stuff so i don't know but this one right here is crack for real for real and y'all hear that it's not too many left i need to get some more of these so i'm gonna make sure i add that to the grocery list yeah, that is the last thing in there. I remember there was a comment. I know I need to catch up on comments, but I remember there was a comment where someone um, had commented on one of the smaller bag carries and they said that, you know, they were surprised the icebreakers weren't in there. And the reason is because it's not a thin container. Like it's kind of thick. So I try to go as compact as possible. And so that's why I have the breath strips. Uh oh, zipper stuck on something. I have the breast strips in here that I will use when I need something super compact. Um, or if I just grabbed and go, I don't usually, you know, reach for the mints when I'm grabbing like a smaller bag. So um, to answer that um, comment, that's essentially why these aren't usually in the smaller bags. But that is everything that is in my little juicy speedy. That's all the goodies that was in there. I hate that I didn't get to film this during the month of October. Um, for breast cancer awareness, but she was still sitting in the chair, sitting pretty with all these goodies in here. So I figured I better show her y'all and, you know, um, show y'all her Layla, <laughs> show her to y'all and go ahead and get, you know, the what's in my bag done for her. So now my bed is complete chaos. So real quick, before I move these goodies into here, which I'm going to do on camera, just so you guys can see how it fits in there. And essentially this video is like a, what's in my bag times four. <laughs> it's going to be four bags in the end and I'm not going to change anything other than switching the wallet stuff. Um, so this part of the video is sponsored by Papa Safety. They reached out to me prior to my cruise. They sent this item. It went to my PO box. We're supposed to go my UPS box. However, while on the cruise, I'm not receiving text messages. So the text message that the UPS store might have sent me saying that it had arrived. I did not get it. I wasn't sure if they sent it because they never sent me a follow up email saying that 
that they sent it, so I wasn't really sure. But probably about a week after we got home, I thought, mm, I better go check the box just to see. And I did, and it was in there. But lots of things have happened, life been life, and so I hadn't had a chance to pop this in a video um, or even use it, which is good. I haven't had to pepper spray anybody. Y'all know I stay strapped to do so, but I haven't had to pepper spray anybody with my own pepper spray. So I definitely haven't used this one yet. But what this is, is a pepper gel personal alarm. So this is actually two things. This is a safety alarm and a pepper gel spray all in one. The description on Amazon is Papa Safety Pepper Spray Gel for Women. It says 130 dB personal alarm with strobe light, max strength pepper gel, and it's rechargeable. So the alarm part is rechargeable. Um, it does come in black as well. So this is the black. I, of course, wanted the white. I don't know what it is about lighter color things, but I don't normally gravitate towards a lot of black bags or wallets <laughs> or things. I will get white over black any day. My camera is even white. I searched high and low because I did not want a black camera. Um, so this is what it looks like. It is a little larger than the one that I traditionally like to wear clipped onto my pants. Um, but this one does have an on and off switch here on the side. Can't really... I don't think you can see the on and off words, but they're on the side there for you to turn it on and off. Um, essentially, it's kind of like mine where you will flip the top to go ahead and depress for you to spray the person, of course. And then let me see here. I got to play with it, y'all. I played with it that day that I got it, and now I don't remember how you do the alarm part. Let me not spray myself in the face, y'all. Huh. Ooh, let me grab a tissue. Hold on. Oh. I'm sorry, y'all. Like I said, I got a headache, so I am not, like, prepared. I am sorry, Papa Safety, but it is what it is. I spent my last Saturday night in the ER all night till 5 a.m., y'all. So it's been a week, but sis is fine. Okay. Um. Ooh, I bet you it's this bottom. Ooh, it's going to be loud. Nope, that's not it. Oh, no. This is how you change it. Ooh. I don't like that. Hold on. Let me figure this out, y'all. Okay, seriously, how does this thing work? I'm not prepared, y'all. I'm not prepared. All right, so it comes with a cute little pouch. That you can put it in if you want to like keep it in your bag it comes with the rechargeable cord oh is it a c-type oh wow i didn't even realize that um this is like a um what do you call it like a strap essentially that you can put in the hole right there if you want to clip it onto something it has like a clasp here that you can clip inside of your bag or onto your pants or however you want to do it to keep it on you here's the book as you can see it does say pepper gel personal alarm now if i could just figure out how to do the alarm <laughs> then i'd be doing my collab portion right all right let's see here um, this is some old charging keychain hole alarm it's pointing at the side She's probably dead, y'all, honestly. I am willing to bet money that you push this button and the alarm's gonna go off, but she's probably dead because she's fresh out of the box and I did not charge her. Um, But let me just make sure. Picture seven, picture eight, spray only, power off, operation attention, opposition. yeah so yeah you push the button at the bottom to sound off the alarm uh Oh, you push the button at the bottom to sound off the alarm and it will scream and holler and essentially attract attention so that whatever's going on with you and that aggressor um you know they will hopefully stop and take off running realizing that you know people are now going to be aware that there's something going on near you um, in addition to, you can pepper spray them all at once. So I think that is a great tool. If you don't have any pepper spray at all or any taser, any alarm, any firearm, this would be a great item to pick up. I am going to link it in my Amazon storefront as well as put the link down in the description all by itself. So anyone who wants to pick this up definitely can. Um, I don't know the price. This is a sponsored portion of the video. So this was sent to me. 
um, for free, but definitely something you should pick up. This is what the ticket looked like that came in the packaging. So definitely a great safety item to add to your collection if you do already have some safety tools um, like myself or if you don't have anything, it would be a great item to pick up. So into this beautiful tote I got from Miss Dazzle 77 Ooh, she's sexy, y'all. She's sexy. So I'm going to pull the straps out just so they're out the way. And, oh, I forgot I had put this in here. Oh, wait. Yeah. Here is a tag to the bag, y'all. I forgot. She did have an ascendant with it. So it does say Cerise, and that is the tag. So that is in that back pocket. And then, apparently, I must have decided that I was going to use this cutie. You know what? She sent me this. She sent me this when she sent the bag. And I put it right in here along with the wallet. And honestly kind of forgot about it. I hadn't used it yet. So, yeah, you can use this with lots of hot pink pieces. So, I am going to switch my candy over into here. So, let's get to doing that. So, I'm going to switch this over. I hope you guys had a great day today. I hope nobody else... <laughs> has a headache from hell like I do. Mine is like a borderline migraine, y'all. Like it's it's bad, but I'm like, girl, you gotta push yourself. Like you got to push yourself and get some content and get that last basket of freaking laundry folded. I don't know about that laundry, y'all. It's not gonna work out. I can, I can already tell you that right now. That's not gonna work out. But we will get the bag going. So we got the candy pouch together. So we're gonna put that in there. And then we need to pack up catch-all pouch with all of its goodies back in there well, let me see if I can tilt this actually you know what let me see if I can zoom y'all out a little bit okay so you can see everything so uh oh no nope, not the flashlight the flashlight goes in that back pocket and that's and what else I usually keep the first aid pouch in this pocket and then this pouch is kind of tiny um, everything in here fits, but I don't foresee me being able to grab my little emergency catch-all pouch to just switch real fast. So I'm just going to put, I think that's everything that goes in here. Um, I'm just going to put that in there by itself. So we have our catch-all pouch. We have our grab-and-go catch-all pouch. The pink booklet won't go because this is a tote, so my, M my PM agenda will go. And I'm going to put it in here for now so I can show you guys everything in here. But I am going to pull it back out and switch the dividers and stuff. At least I'm going to try to before I lay down because I don't want to look at orange and black tomorrow. I want to look at, you know, the right stuff. And as you guys saw in that Speedy, I did not have um, a candy pouch. Not a candy pouch, Layla Jesus. A pin pouch. <laughs> I did not have a pen pouch this go round because I find myself just sometimes I really don't reach for it, you guys. Like, it's not something that, I don't know. I've been playing with the idea of not carrying one, but I just kind of like the idea of carrying one. All right, so these lip glosses need to go in here. Fenty one and my mirror. I like having it. I don't know. I just feel like I have so many cute pouches. I want to use them all at the same time. And I feel like sometimes to do that, you know, I got to carry all my goodies. And I love having my pretty pins with me. I love having things matching. Um, I've kind of always been that way where I really, you know, coordinated things as best that I could. But I don't know, y'all. We shall see. Um, wallet things. I will switch off camera. Let me attach my, make sure she's off. Attach my taser to the side pocket over here. Then my lady pouch. Let me add my stuff back in here. So we got the spray. We have my two wipes. Um, I don't know how I ended up carrying two sprays. I think one is running low. Now I was trying to make sure that I was never caught without. I'm going to put this in there upside down. This thing is packed. I have to change the liner types in there because my little fake Aunt Flo is gone. All right, so we'll put that in there. <clears throat> in that back pocket, I'm going to put my AirPods. Um, I don't know what hand sanitizer I want to do. So for now, I'm just going to put the liquid one in there. Again, I'm going to do the wallet business off camera and since this wallet is so big I probably yeah I won't have to use this at all everything is going to fit in here so I'm going to put all that in there off camera uh oh here's another ponytail holder put that in my catch-all whoops and 
lip liner didn't make it okay and then my pen my lotion my chapstick my clipper and then the other kiss lock candy pouch we won't need that and that's everything y'all yep everything but a wallet so i will show you guys how she is looking hopefully possibly <laughs> it's dark let me see uh, that looks terrible okay so much you can see right there that's the only thing i hate about dark interiors so i have all my pocket goodies in here <clears throat> and all of everything else in here and then my um taser hanging on the side so i just need to get her a charm maybe i love this chain so much sometimes i feel like she doesn't have to have a charm she got sass all on her own um but we'll see what i decide to put on there i've got more options to choose from than i need like i i, I gotta go i'm already sitting down y'all but um <laughs> i'll figure out what i'm put on the front if anything but yeah you guys i know this was a long video i sorry but i really need to get my life together with these bags even with this headache from hell i'm like bruh you cannot go another day with everything just everywhere like we need one bag to grab and go so all my goodies are in here now so i will rock her for the next couple days i have the itch to carry my artsy so bad i also have the itch to carry my black empreinte never full mm so bad but at the same time i have 50 million new bags with tags that really need to get used and then i have other bags that i haven't carried in like a year that need to get used the struggle is real y'all like a sister need to switch like every day <laughs> for real to keep up but We'll make do. So I'm going to get out of y'all ear now. I hope y'all's day was great. I'm going to do my best to get this edited tomorrow and out to you guys. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love everybody, all my viewers, all my subscribers, everybody who's been rocking me from day one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have not subscribed, you should consider doing so. I like to do bags, planners, chit chat, makeup, small stuff, lifestyle here and there, all that fun stuff. So anywho, see everybody in the next video. Bye.